Welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. So this is a pick a card reading where you pick either card stack number one, two, or three. When you're picking your cards, whichever one you are initially drawn to is where you wanna go. That's your intuition telling you what it is that is right for you. Don't overthink it, okay? Wherever you initially felt is the stack for you is where you wanna go with these. These readings are good from today on Wisdom Wednesday through next Tuesday. And um, these come out every single week. So make sure that you are following me so that you are alerted to your reading. Okay, here we go. So if you pick stack number one, that is a green calcite. And green calcite helps us connect to our spirit guides, um, connects us to positivity and then energies of protection and abundance. It helps us to release anger and our attachments that are unhealthy. It helps us to manifest things really rapidly. It also helps us clear old patterns and then it works on our heart chakra energies. So it balances our emotions and it calms our mind. It improves our judgment, increases our memory, and it has many other um, benefits as well. It's a growth stimulant for children. So if you have a tiny kid, one that's uh, maybe a little underweight or something like that, you could put it under their mattress. It helps heal tumors and malignancies, um, stimulates your thymus, reinforces the immune system, blah, blah, blah. Usually I don't go into all of the physical benefits that it can have when I'm doing these Wednesday wisdom readings, but somebody needed to hear that. And so that's what I'm telling you. Um, now, if you pick stack number two, don't worry, we'll get back over to stack number one, but I'm just gonna tell you about the crystal energies that you selected and so that you have a basis of foundation in knowing why maybe you were drawn to that stack. So um, group number two with the tiger's eye here, what tiger eye does is it gets rid of fear and anxiety, it helps you identify what your problems are and then helps you therefore solve them. Because sometimes we think something's an issue, but um, it's not actually what the issue is, it's something underneath that. Uh, this will protect you against unwanted energies and harm. It gets rid of confusion, clears your head. So not very dissimilar from the um, green calcite, but this is associated to different chakras. This is associated to your uh, to your sacral chakra. So when some people use it for the root chakra, um, whereas this is the heart chakra. So this is more emotionally based and this is more like fear based, like what is scaring us or um, where are we lacking confidence sometimes? So this increases our will, our courage, our self-confidence, as I mentioned. It gives us strength, it gets rid of some of our stubbornness, um, and it also helps you with your uh, bones and your spine strength, also will help your reproductive organs. So if you chose this stack over here with the gold stone, um, some people don't really think that this has any power because it is a synthetic stone with the glitter in there, but then um, other people do believe that it does work and I am one of those who believes that it does because if you created something with the intention of having healing properties, the intention is there. Therefore, it will vibrate with that and everything is made of um, specific energies anyway. Like nothing can exist if it doesn't have energy in it. So um, if you pick the gold stone, what this will do is it will help you attain goals. So it seems like many of these, that's kind of the common theme, um, helps you to calm and stable your emotions. Again, not that dissimilar. It deflects negative energies, it's a protective stone. Now the differentiator here is that this one will help you with long distance healing. So let's say that you wanted to receive um, some sort of like Reiki healing from somebody. Um, but over the phone or over a computer and not in person, it would be helpful perhaps to have that in your lap. Um, this helps generate more energy, it creates ambition, positive attitudes, it increases your drive. And then this one is also good for bones and arthritis, um, but can also help with food allergies. So anyway, um, that is what your crystals will do associated to this stack. And let's go through stack one, two, and three now and get deeper into what your energies are for Wisdom Wednesday this week. So if you chose the green calcite, what they're saying is that you have the King of Swords energy in reverse, which means something isn't being said or um, maybe what's being said is dishonest. Now, 
That being said, they say everything in life is a relationship. So there is a reason as to why maybe something isn't being said or why you're being lied to and it has to do with the relationship that you have. Now, um, like depending on who is saying that or who you're lying to or um, who you're withholding information from, um, now the energy here is 25, okay? So a two is like things are balanced until we hit this crisis moment of five. Five is like kind of catastrophe. It is disharmony, discord, disagreement, misunderstandings. So perhaps something isn't being said and it's simply a misunderstanding then. So it seems like a lie, but you know, then it just gets blown out of proportion with the energy of seven, which is all about expansion. Um, so with these kind of energies here, uh, what it's saying is, you know, look at these little flecks here, all these little gold things. Um, you're sort of like floating around in this ocean, okay? And there's all these like gold little speckles, like little things that we desire, little things that we want. And we can have those things, um, but it's kind of like we're just sitting here floating around and we don't really know which direction to go and so there's like all of these wonderful little gifts these little blessings abundance for you luxury um but it's just like you need to decide which way are you going to swim in order to find those things and so what they're saying is thinking about what's not being communicated or what's being communicated incorrectly is sort of the key to getting what you want because everything in life is a relationship everything in life is connected so everything has a purpose everything has a reading or a reason okay now if you chose stack number two here with the tiger eye what it's saying is the wheel of fortune yay karmic energy is coming into balance so this is not a good thing if you were a shitty person historically because karma's coming back to get you now but if you weren't i mean if you always try to do the right thing you try to be a good person even when it's hard well, then things are going to kind of move in groove in your favor. OK, um, so you might be hearing some some news about this. And typically this card um, in this deck, it's a little bit different with all of the swords here. It's like the news is coming and it might not show up in reality yet, but at least, you know, it's on its way. Um, so it's saying, you know what? I'm ready to forgive. I'm ready to forgive myself. I'm ready to forgive other people. And if I can do that. If I can communicate this forgiveness either to myself, like, hey, I'm sorry for my own part in things that, um, you know, didn't really work out the way that I wanted them to in my life or for my own fuck ups. Or if you're able to forgive other people, like saying, hey, I didn't like what you did and it was kind of shitty, but, um, you know, I understand that maybe you didn't know a different way. We don't know what we don't know, or maybe you didn't have the skills or the tools or the emotional abilities to do the right thing in that time. Now, our energy here is about a five and a zero. Now, fives are um, maybe kind of the theme of the week based on the last deck, where it's like things are miscommunicated, things are not easy, there's some discord, there's some disharmony. Um, things are maybe free falling into what seems like disaster. But, you know, everything happens for a reason and we need to be able to forgive ourselves as well as forgiving other people. So um, here's the thing. We need to have this deep trust that everything happens for a reason and that appearances kind of don't really mean anything. You know, like you are the person who's driving your own ship and so you don't get to decide um, what happens to you. You don't get to decide the thoughts that you have, but you get to choose how you're going to react to the situations that occur, you know, um, in your life, the things that happen to you. And then also you get to decide how you are going, which, you know, thoughts you have that you are going to buy into and believe. So, um, certain things are happening behind the scenes that you're not really clear on or aware of. However, um, they are for your highest good. It seems like something good is about to happen for you. And so just be patient throughout this and be forgiving as you can. Now, if you chose the gold stone, what they're saying is this energy of non-attachment, like you might feel like you're stuck 
in some sort of area of your life, in some sort of situation. Maybe I'm stuck in this job. Maybe I'm stuck in this relationship. But the reality is you really aren't. Um, so what they're saying here is I give myself the time to think about what I want from my relationships. You might feel trapped in a relationship, whether that's your relationship with a family member or with a romantic partner or your relationship to your job. But the fact of the matter is you really aren't. It might feel that way, but there's always a way out. It just might not be super obvious or super convenient. Now, what we have here is the F word. Now, the three number in the um, number 30 here, the three is like very karmic. It's um, about our divinity, you know, like what is meant for us. This is the number of the ascended masters, like Jesus, Moses, Buddha, you, all of that. Um, so... Anyway, they're saying we're here to kind of help you get in touch with your spirituality and expand that. Now, why does this say the F word? It maybe seems inappropriate or not so spiritual, right? Um, but this energy, the F word is um, forgiveness, which is kind of interesting because we had that over here in the second stack. So it's kind of a theme. Um, but regardless... What they're saying is we need to look at forgiveness like kind of through a different lens. Maybe it means something differently than we thought. And so it's like, okay, I know that everything's going to turn out fine, but um, you know, I'm just deciding to hold on to negativity or to grudges. And you know, it's kind of just, it's sort of preventing you from healing those past wounds and moving forward. And that's kind of the point of being in this astrological time that we're in right now, it's forcing us to reflect on what happened in the past so we can let it go. Maybe we've healed from things already most of the way, but there's just a few things that we need to totally let go of. And it's like, you can forgive but not forget, right? Like you can say, okay, um, what you did was fucked up, but I'm not gonna hold this grudge anymore. And it, you can still cut people out of your life, like if they super betrayed you. But um, it doesn't mean you have to be like best friends and send them like a flower basket, you know, for whatever horrible thing they did. But just letting it go because holding on to that resentment and that grudge kind of energy um, about how you were victimized or, you know, whatever. It's like that only hurts you. The other person doesn't really feel it so much. So anyway, bliss is going to come your way if you can do this. If you can forgive, forget. Um you know, try to let things go. They're saying like, you are, you might be saying, I can't let shit go. Like that was severe and I shouldn't let it go and whatever. And they're like, um, that's a mindset that you're holding on to, And it's not a very healthy one. It's not going to help you give yourself the time to think about what you want from your relationships. Because on a law of attraction level, it's like, if I am going to say, I can't forgive myself, I can't forgive others for what happens to me, I have to hold on to this energy of, um, you know, living in that state of um, discontent, well, then I'm only attracting new relationships into my life that are not good, that I'm going to feel discontented in, that I'm going to be unhappy with. So that's your Wisdom Wednesday. Um, as I say that, this video is like 13 minutes and 13 seconds long, which is also a number message saying that um, new beginnings are happening and they are happening on a karmic level, but we have to allow ourselves to flow through that process to create stability in our lives and get the things that we want. And if we're able to do that, then the sooner these things are going to show up. So a lot of us can have really, really fast change and end up to be exactly where we want to be in the relationship we want to have, in the job we want to have, in the socioeconomic like, situation we want to be in, all of those things. They can come really quickly, but it does require you to sort of purge or release a lot of energies um, that we're maybe holding tight to that don't serve us anymore. I love you so much and I'll see you next Wednesday.